Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and we are going to be doing pattern number 36, design number two today. So that is this design up here. Very similar to last week's design, which is design one, and we learned this one last week. Now this week we're going to be moving on to the design two, which spreads out our pattern just a little bit more. For you guys that are going to be working this on existing work from last week you're just going to jump ahead to row three in the tutorial and begin there so be joining on to your existing work working row three so right after you finish row 26 from design one you move on to row three of design number two if you're going to be starting out with this design we'll go over how to start a project and there's lots of project ideas down in that description along with the yarn that's shown on the sample. I put all that info down there for you guys. For some of you who are gonna be working with design two as your only design, you're gonna be able to do color changes really easy. You can swap out your color B by working up to row 12. And at row 12, you can switch that out to a new color. And you can do that again at row 28, which is why you see these different colors all coming in started with one color switched colors at row 12 worked that all the way up from row 12 through row 27 then i switched color again at row 28 and continue to work that on up from there this is two repeats of the pattern that you're seeing right here in front of you and this is what it looks like when you join on to your existing work from last week. I'm trying to get as much in camera as possible. But this right here is design number one. And that's showing some tapestry color changes. Here is design two again. This is just doing it in two tones. And here is design number one, where we started last week. So for you guys wanting to jump into the tutorial, grab at least two colors of yarn your favorite crochet hook check out that description for more information links to the etsy shop and all that good stuff always down there in that description so we're going to jump into the tutorial now we're going to begin by chaining in color a in the multiple of 12 and then if you are working flat you're just going to add four chains onto the end of that count and if you're working in the round, you're only going to chain in the multiple of 12. And then you will slip stitch to the first chain that we made to form a ring. And then you begin working the repeats given in this video in that same first stitch right there. Same stitch that you slip stitched into. So now we're going to begin working flat in the video and we're about to begin row one. So if you're not ready, you're going to want to pause the video, come back when you have your starting chain ready. And remember down in the description, I've already got some project ideas and those starting chains figured out for you and lots of extra information down there. So jump down in that description and check that out. And then we will meet back up for row one when you're ready. So we're going to begin row one now. I've chained out a total of 28 chains. So that's two of our multiple of 12 for a total of 24 stitches. Then I added four to the end. So I have 28 starting chains. We're going to be skipping the first chain and we're going to work there into the second chain from our hook. So you want to go into that second chain and do a traditional single crochet. So that's where we go under the V completely into that stitch and then from here single crochet like normal now our repeat for row one is really simple we're going to be doing a back loop only single crochet into all of our stitches so that means we pick up just the one side of the stitch and complete a single crochet like normal so from this point in the tutorial, I'll be calling these single crochets and you'll just know that when we're going to do our repeat, we are working all single crochets in the back loop. That's all of our repeat stitches. So we're gonna do this all the way down the row and then we'll be doing the same thing on row two, just in our other color. But I'll demonstrate that for all you guys that are new. So we'll be back in just a moment. 
So we're back. We have row number one completed. And this is what our work will look like. We're now going to move on to row number two. So we need to move that turning chain down out of our way. Kind of scoot that out of the way. We want to make sure we're going in to the very first stitch. So we're looking for that V. So we're going to go into that stitch and do a traditional single crochet. So we want to make sure we're completely in our stitch. Now we just join on our new color of yarn. So for me, that's the color B is this apple. So we go in, chain up one, and then we're going to go back down into that same first stitch. There we go. And complete a traditional single crochet. So that's how we join on every single row. So I won't be showing that again. Row number two's repeat begins now. We're going to identify our next stitch and place a back loop only single crochet. So that's the single crochet. We're going to be doing a single crochet all the way down the row in every single stitch. And then we'll traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So you guys can pause here. Place these single crochets, all of our stitches to finish our setup rows. And then we'll be back for row three where we're actually going to begin mosaic work. Row three begins now. We are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row number three begins by doing three double crochets. So to do those, we're going to wrap our yarn, identify our next stitch, and slide down, picking up that front loop that we left by doing back loop only single crochets. So there's number one. Number two, and number three. So now we're going to check and make sure that we know where our next stitch is before we move on with our repeat. So we're going to fold back these double crochets. Each double crochet we made takes up one stitch back here on this row. So one, two, and three. When we put these back in place, they cover those stitches. So we know that this next stitch right here is our next stitch. And we're going to be placing three single crochets over these next three stitches. Here's number one. Number two, number three, one double crochet, three single crochets. One, two, and three, and two double crochets will end our repeat. There's one and number two. All right, so that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number three's repeat began with three double crochets, three single crochets, 
one double crochet, three single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So we'll start back over with these three double crochets next and keep working that set of stitches all the way down the row. I'm gonna do this repeat with you guys one more time. And you, of course, can skip ahead and work either the row end with me or move on to row four if you want. Time stamps down in that description. So now we're gonna begin the repeat one more time together. So now we begin the repeat with three double crochets. Here's number one. Number two. And number three. three single crochets, one, two, and three, one double crochet, three single crochets, there's one, two, and number three. Now we're going to do two double crochets to end the repeat. Here's number one. And number two. So that ends our repeat. So you just keep working that exact set over and over. And this is what your work will look like as you move on down your row. So you may pause here and finish up your row or if you're ready for your row end like I am, we're about to work the row end together. So here at the end of row three, we have two stitches left and you're gonna find this on every single row. And the way that you're gonna be working your row end, every row is exactly the same. You will restart your repeat for one stitch and then do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row. So row three's repeat begins with double crochet. So we're gonna be placing a double crochet in the second to last stitch. So right here. And now we do a single crochet under the V in the very last stitch of the row. So all of your row ends will be worked like that. Whatever your repeat, starts with we'll go right here into this stitch and then you will do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch so we can bind off from here and we're going to move on to our next row row four begins now and we are working in color b for this row row four's repeat begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches there. Very next stitch. So here's number one. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. One, number two, and 
and number one single crochet three double crochets one two, and number three. And we will end our repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. So here's number one, and two. That ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row four's repeat began with three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So you will start back over and work three single crochets next, and then continue on with the rest of the repeat and keep doing that set of stitches over and over all the way down your row. We'll be back for row five whenever you are ready. Row five begins now. We are working in color A. Row five's repeat begins by doing two double crochets. There's one and number two. Four single crochets. One. two, three, and four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. And now we will do one double crochet to end our repeat. So that ends our repeat for row five. So let's recap what we've done. Row five's repeat began with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we ended with one double crochet. So you will start back over and work this exact repeat over and over all the way down your row. We'll be back whenever you're ready for row six. Row six begins now. We're working in color B. Our repeat for row six begins by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. Here's number one and 
number two. Three double crochets. One, number two, and number three. Three single crochets. So there's number one, number two, and number three. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. One single crochet to end our repeat. All right, so that ends the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row six, repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, and we end with three double crochets and one single crochet. So you'll be able to start back over with the two single crochets next and work across this section making a total of three single crochets in this area, then you'll be placing three double crochets. So the cheater method for this row, once you get set up and move on from here, you're really just doing three single crochets, three double crochets over and over all the way down the row. You'll see that as you start to work. So we'll be back when you're ready for row number seven. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Row seven begins now and we begin the repeat by working one double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. Three double crochets. One, two, and number three. And we will end the repeat by doing four single crochets. One, two, and number three. Four. So that ends the repeat for row seven. So let's recap. Row seven's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, 
three double crochets and we end with four single crochets. So you'll start back over with that one double crochet to begin the repeat and keep working that exact set of stitches. We'll be back when you're ready for row number eight. Row eight begins now and we're gonna be working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row number eight begins by doing one single crochet. two double crochets, so here's number one and number two. Seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. Number one, two, three, four, five. Six and number seven. Two double crochets to end our repeat. There's one, and here is number. So that ends our repeat for row eight. So let's recap what we've done. Row eight's repeat began with one single crochet, two double crochets, seven single crochets, and then we end with two double crochets. So you'll be starting back over at the beginning of that repeat. Keep working on down your row. We'll meet back up whenever you're ready for row number nine. Row nine begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Row nine's repeat begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. So here's number one. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. There's number one. Two. three, one single crochet, three double crochets, There's one, two, and here is number three.
two single crochets will end our repeat. There's one. And number two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row nine began over here with three single crochets. Three double crochets. One single crochet. Three double crochets. And then we end with two single crochets. So you'll be starting back over with the beginning of the repeat and do these three single crochets next. And keep working on down your row. We'll be back when we... Row 10 starts now, and we are working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row number 10 begins by doing one double crochet, and it's a super simple one, so we're going to be doing this double crochet right here, followed by 11 single crochets. So super, super, super easy row to do. So it's one double crochet. Now we begin working 11 single crochets. So there's one. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, Nine, ten, and eleven. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done one double crochet, eleven single crochets. Can't be any easier than that. So work on down the rest of your row, repeating this set of stitches. We'll be back when you're ready for row number 11. Row 11 begins now we're working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins with one single crochet. Row 11's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Five double crochets. There's number one. Number two. Three, four, and number five. One single crochet. Five double crochets will end our repeat. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four.
And last but not least, number five. So that ends our repeat for row number 11. So let's recap. Another super simple one. Row 11's repeat begins with one single crochet, five double crochets, one single crochet, five double crochets. So you're literally just doing one single crochet, five double crochets all the way down the row. Super, super easy. We'll meet back when you're ready to work on row 12. Row 12 begins now and we'll be working in color B for this row. We're going to begin the repeat for row 12 now. If you guys wanted to change out color B at this point, you could join on a new color B and you will continue to work your new color B all the way through row 27. And then we will change color again if you like at row 28. But let's start row 12 because that's what we're on. So we're going to begin the repeat for row 12 which begins with six single crochets. So we're going to start doing our first one. So here's number one, two, three, four, Five and number six. One double crochet. Now we will end the repeat by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four. And number five. So that ends our repeat for row 12. So let's recap. This is the easy one. You're going to start with six single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets. So for row 12 here, as you begin to work the repeat again, which starts with those six single crochets, obviously, all you're really doing after you get. The single crochets done is 11 single crochets total, one double crochet. We kind of have to get set up and moved in, moved into position for that. So after you start your repeat and complete your six single crochets, and your second repeat of the pattern, you have a total of 11 through this section. So 11 single crochets one double crochet to continue to work on down your row or just do the set repeat repeat for row 12 six single crochets one double crochet five single crochets so we'll be back when you're ready for 13. row 13 begins now we're working in color a row 13's repeat begins by doing one single crochet three double crochets, there's number one, two, and number three. five single crochets one 
one. Two, three, four, and number five. Now we will do three double crochets over these next three stitches to end our repeat. Here's number one, Oops. number two, and number three. That ends our repeat for row 13, so let's recap. Row 13's repeat began with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you guys know what to do. We'll be back when you are ready for row 14. Row 14 starts now. We're going to be working in color B for this row. Row 14's repeat begins by doing four single crochets. There's number one. Number two. three, and four. Two double crochets. One. And two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And two. Now we're going to do three single crochets to end our repeat. So right here, there's one, two, and three. So there's three single crochets ends the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 14's repeat began with four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and then we end with three single crochets. Continue on until you're ready for row 15. Row 15 begins now, and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins by doing two double crochets. There's one. And here's number two. We'll now do four single crochets over the next four stitches. One, two, three, 
one. Two. Three. And number four. One double crochet right here into that next stitch. Four single crochets. One. Two. three and number four one double crochet right here in this next stitch to end our repeat so one double crochet all right and that ends our repeat for row 15 so let's recap what we've done row 15's repeat begins with two double crochets four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you guys know what to do. Meet back up with me when you're ready for row 16. Row 16 begins now. We're working in color B for this row. Row 16's repeat begins with two single crochets. There's one, and here's number two. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three single crochets. Here's number one. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. There's number one. Two. And number three. One single crochet right here to end the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 16's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So you'll start back over and do your two single crochets. And once you've done that, really all you're doing down your row is three single crochets, three double crochets, over and over. That's our little cheater method for this row. So you can meet back up with me when you're ready for row 17. Row 17 begins now, and we're working in color A for this row. Row 17's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Four 
four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. Three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're going to end the repeat by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches. So here's number one. Two, three, and number four. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 17's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with four single crochets. So you'll start back over, keep working that repeat all the way down the row. We'll be back when you're ready for row 18. Row 18 begins now and we are working in color B for this row. Row 18's repeat begins with one single crochet. Here we go. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Three double crochets will end our repeat. Here's number one. Two. And number three. That ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row 18's repeat began over here with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, three double crochets ends that repeat. So you'll start back over with your single crochet and keep working on down your row. We'll be back for 19 when you're ready. Row 19 begins now, and we will be working in color A for this row. Row 19's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Three single crochets. 
one, two, and three. Five double crochets. There's one. There's two. Three, four, and number five. Now we will end the repeat by doing three single crochets. One. two, and number three. So that ends our repeat for row 19. So let's recap. Row 19's repeat began with one double crochet, three single crochets, five double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So you'll start back over with that double crochet and keep working on down your row. We'll be back whenever you're ready for row 20. Row 20 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Three double crochets. There's number one. Number two, and number three. Five single crochets. There's one. Two three four and number five. And we will end the repeat by doing three double crochets. Number one, two, and number three. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap it. Row 20's repeat began with one single crochet, three double crochets, 
five single crochets and then we end with three double crochets so you'll start back over with the beginning of the repeat and keep moving on down your row um, meet back up with me when you're ready for row 21 Row 21 begins now and we will be working in color A. Row 21's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. Three double crochets. There's number one. Two and number da, 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 three. Four single crochets over the next four stitches to end your repeat. Oops. So there's number one. <laughs> number two. Number three and number four. So that ends our repeat for row 21. So let's recap. Row 21's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, three double crochets, and then we end with four single crochets so start back over with the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row we'll be back when you're ready for row 22. Row 22 begins now, and we are working in color B for this row. Row 22's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. There's one. And number two. Three double crochets. There's number one. Number two. And number three. Three single crochets. There's one. Two and number three. Three double crochets. There's 
One, two, and number three. And one single crochet here into this next stitch to end the repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 22's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and then we end with one single crochet. So this is another row that when you start your repeat again with the two single crochets, like so, from here, really all you're doing is three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, all the way down the row. So it's really up to you how you want to do it. You can go by the set repeat of the first 12 stitches, or you can go with the cheater method. But either way, continue to work down your row. Meet back up with me when you're ready for row 23. Row 23 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins by doing two double crochets. There's number one. And here is number two four single crochets. There's one. Number two. Three. And four. One double crochet. four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. And one double crochet We'll end the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 23's repeat began with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and then we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over and keep working that same set of stitches all the way down your row. And we'll meet back up when you're ready for row 24. Row 24 begins now, and we are working in color B for this row. Row 24's repeat begins with four single crochets. Here's number one. Number two. Three. 
three. And four. Two double crochets. There's one. And number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One. And two. And we will end by doing three single crochets. One, two, and number three. So that ends our repeat for row 24. So let's recap what we've done. Row 24's repeat began with four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, and then we end with three single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of that repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row 25 in just a moment. Row 25 is going to begin now and we are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins by doing one single crochet three double crochets, there's number one, number two, and Number three. Now we will do five single crochets. There's one, two, three. four, and five. Three double crochets will end our repeat. There's number one. Two, and last but not least, number three. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 25's repeat began with one single crochet, three double crochets, five single crochets, and we end with three double crochets. So you'll start back over with that one single crochet and keep working that set of stitches on down your row. We'll be back when you are ready for row number 26. Row 26 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 26's repeat begins by doing six single crochets over these next six stitches. So 
There's number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And number six. One double crochet. And five single crochets will end our repeat. There's one, two, three, four. And number five. So that ends our repeat for row 26. So let's recap what we've done. Row 26 repeat begins with six single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. So once you complete the six single crochets next that starts our repeat you are essentially just doing 11 single crochets in the section followed by one double crochet so you can work on down your row you'll be doing your double crochet at the peak of our shape so hopefully that helps you zoom through row 26 and come back when you're ready for row 27. Row 27 begins now, and we are working in color A for this row. Row 27's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. So right here, very next stitch. Five double crochets. number one number two oops number three Number four, and number five, one single crochet. And five double crochets will end the repeat. One, two, three, Four, and number five. So that ends our repeat for row 27. So let's recap it. 
Row 27's repeat began with one single crochet, five double crochets, one single crochet, and five double crochets. So you'll start back over with that single crochet and keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. So the easy way to remember is it's single crochet, five double crochet, single crochet, five double crochet. That's all you're really doing. So we'll be back when you're ready for row 28. Here's what you have after completing row 27. We're moving on to row 28 and we will be working in color B. Row 28 has a super simple repeat. And I do also want to mention if you were wanting to change color, B out at this point, you were tired of doing this color sequence, you could change out color B here at row 28. I'm of course not going to do that because you guys are trying to learn a pattern from me. So I don't want to do any color changes, but you can change color here and you'd be swapping out color B, making this part of the design what's green on mine, a different color. So we're going to move on to the repeat for row 28 now. And that repeat starts with a double crochet and then it's followed by 11 single crochet. So another really easy row. So we begin, start of the repeat, one double crochet. Now 11 single crochets. So there's number one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number eleven. So that ends our repeat for row 28. So let's recap it, super easy. Row 28's repeat began with one double crochet, and then we work 11 single crochets. So you'll start back over with your double crochet and keep working on down that row. You can change out your color B here at row 28, and you would work your new color B through row 11 when you repeat the design again. We'll go over this again at the end of the video, but for those of you who are going to ask that, I just wanted to let you know. Row 29 begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Row 29's repeat begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. Let's identify our very next stitch. And single crochet. So there's one, two, and number three. Three double crochets. One. Two, and number three, one single crochet, three double crochets, There's one, two, 
two and number three. And we will end by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's number one. And number two. So that ends our repeat for row 29. So let's recap what we've done. Row 29's repeat began with three single crochets, three double crochets, one single crochet, three double crochets, and then we end with two single crochets. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. We will be back whenever you're ready for row number 30. Here's what our work will look like, and we're now moving on to row 30. You'll be working in color B for this row. Row 30's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. Two double crochets. one and here is number two seven single crochets one two three, four, five, six, and number seven. And we'll end our repeat by doing two double crochets in these next two stitches. There's one. And number two. So that ends our repeat for row 30, so let's recap. Row 30's repeat began with one single crochet two double crochets, seven single crochets, and we end with two double crochets. So you'll start back over at the beginning of the repeat. Keep working on down your row. We'll be back when you're ready for row 31. Row 31 begins now, and we are going to be working in color A. Row 31's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. So right here, next stitch. Four single crochets. one two three and four 
three double crochets. One, two, and number three. Four single crochets over the next four stitches to end the repeat. There's one. Two, three, and four. So that ends our repeat for row 31. So let's recap. Row 31's repeat began with one double crochet, four single crochets, three double crochets, and we end with four single crochets. So you'll keep working on down your row. We'll meet back up when you're ready for row 32. We are now moving on to row 32. You will be working in color B. Row 32's repeat begins with two single crochets. Here's number one. And number two. Three double crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. One, two, three, and we will do one single crochet to end our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 32's repeat began with two single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, and then we end with one single crochet. So once we restart our repeat and do the two single crochets, one and number two. From here, we're going to do three double crochets, three single crochets, three double crochets, three single crochets over and over. That's all you're really doing all the way down the row. So we'll meet back up when you are ready for row 33. We are now moving on to row 33, and you will be working in color A. Row 33's repeat begins with two double crochets. One and number two. Four single crochets. There's one, two.
three and number four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. And we end with one double crochet. So that ends our repeat for row 33. So let's recap what we've done. Row 33's repeat began with two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So you'll start back over with your two double crochets and keep working on down the rest of your row. And then we will meet back up when you're ready for row 34, which is our final row. Row 34 begins now and it is our final row. We're going to be working in color B for this row. Row 34's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. One. Two. And number three. Three double crochets. Here's number one, number two, and number three. One single crochet, three double crochets. There's number one and number two and last but not least we have to do number three. Now we're going to end our repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. one and number two so let's recap that repeat row 34's repeat began with three single crochets three double crochets one single crochet three double crochets and then we end with two single crochets so you'll be able to start back over with the three single crochets and keep working on down your row and then you will meet back up with me one final time so that I can explain how we're going to go about moving up for additional repeats, color changes, and that sort of thing. So we'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we're back. This is what you will have after you've completed row 34. So that's the final row of the repeat. If you wanted to continue to move up, and do additional repeats of this design for a larger project, you're going to rewind back to row three and complete rows three through 34 as many times as you like. Once you are finished and you are going to move on to a completely different design or you are ending your project with this design, 
your very last row that you should work to end it out after you complete 34, I would go back and do a final repeat of row three to end your project. That way you will end up with the five double crochets that we have down here at the bottom. You will have that up here at the end of your project. If you are going to move on to um, pattern 36 design one. So this one was based off of design two's chart. So if you were going to go back to design number one, you do not need to complete row three again here on this pattern. You will join on and work starting at row three on design number one's tutorial or chart. So if you were joining on the other design for pattern 36, you would just follow the repeat and you're going to join on at the next pattern's repeat and move on. If you are wanting to change out some colors, you can do that a couple places in this design right here. So back here at row 12, when we begin row 12, we could change out color B to a different color. So what you're seeing for me is uh, color B is green. So you could start in one color and work that color up through row 11. And then row 12 is a new um, color B row. You could change out and do a new color B and you would continue that color on up through row 27. And then at row 28, you could color change color B out again to another color. So essentially what I'm telling you is if you, once you change color, you'll work it up to row 28. Then you change color. You're going to work rows 28 through the end of the pattern. And then rewind the video and work all the way up to row 11 in your new color. Then when you get to row 12, you can change color again. If you do it, that will make sense to you. I know it's probably not making sense right now. Of course, you could also do some tapestry crochet to change out the centers right here and have a different color A coming in. You can get as creative as you want with these patterns. Hopefully, it all has made sense. and <laughs> Hopefully, you have enjoyed this tutorial. I really do appreciate you guys watching, taking the time. Remember, I squeeze as much of this information down in the description as well for you guys so that you don't have to try and remember. Please leave me a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed or still subscribed and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions at all whatsoever. And until next time, bye for now.